Hello, sixth grade parents and families. So by now, everyone in cohort A, B, and C should have gotten a message uh, from me in science if you have not yet signed up for Blooms. You got it as a text and use the join codes on that packet, the page that has the Blooms join instructions. You've got the join codes for Mr. Brennan, Miss Berg, and me for each cohort. When you go into Blooms, now this is the desktop uh, website, and you just go to blooms.net, sign in with the account you created. Now, parents in the past have told me, and I have to agree, the app is the best way to go. But if you can't uh, install another app on your phone, because maybe you don't have enough data, or you don't have enough space, this website is the best way to go. The text messages, you just don't get all the features and you don't get the entire message sometimes, so it's best to use the website or the app. When you click here for join all groups, you get to see messages uh, from Mr. Lynch and from Mrs. Castor. So you click on the message and this is information that goes usually to either all the sixth grade or the entire elementary, like this one from the end of last week, with pictures that you can see. Uh, and at the bottom, a link to do your child's screening if they're coming to school. This is just fantastic for our school to be able to communicate with everybody. But if you click on each class, then you get messages from that teacher. So you should be seeing, I mean, if you clicked on this video, you accessed my class, uh, sixth grade science. But I wanna show you what else you can do here. If you click on the calendar, I did add the um, school calendar. So you can see what's coming up with the district or the school on here. It's really cool. So this is uh, a nice feature, but the best thing besides you and me communicating through messages uh, so you can get me right away. And if I don't answer, it's because I'm in class with students or in a meeting. Uh, that is the best feature right here. But check this out. If you click on your child, and this is my test child, you can see uh, feedback that I put in there for how they're behaving in science class. And right here you can see, oh, off to a great start following directions, ready to learn and participating. And there's an egg here. This egg uh, is a goal I give all my students. Each quarter, which is about 10 weeks of time, if they can get 20 positive feedback comments from me, they will hatch their egg and you, the parent, will see what came out as, as it'll be a little monstery creature. And you can show your kid and say, hey, you reached your goal in science. You got 20 positive feedback comments. Um, and that is great. But every week you can see how your child is doing and acknowledge their great behavior uh, or help them if they're struggling in an area. You'll know right away. You don't have to uh, worry or wonder because I'll give you two to three feedback comments on your child every week. Because I see them one day a week, but I have them the whole day. So I can tell you how they're doing through blooms here. And then if you see something that you want to ask me about, you can just message me right here. Uh, so in this way, it's, it's really wonderful and an open line of communication between us. Now, if you go down here to plus class group, you can join your other classes if you haven't already. Just go to that handout, type in the codes, go to next, follow the instructions, boom. All your elementary school children will show up here and all their classes. Uh, so this is really great. Now stay on the video and you'll see how it looks on your phone with the app. So once you get the Blooms app downloaded on your phone, Here's some uh, good things to know about it. First of all, the app is the best way to go. Now, when you tap on the three dots at the upper left-hand corner and you choose Show for All Groups, you'll see all the messages from all your children's classes and from Chimicum Elementary School. So if I tap on the Chimicum Elementary School one, this is the message that was sent out last week uh, by our school principal, Mr. Lynch. 
and you can tap on the pictures and and see those and tapping on the message lets you see the entire message but if you go back to those three lines and tap on your child's class so right now i've got the sixth grade 2021 cohort a1 science i can see any messages from my child's science teacher uh, and you'll be getting one this coming week but if you go back to the three lines and tap on your child so my child is a test child test one this is a fantastic place because when you go to behavior you can see how your child is doing in each class and you see that egg there that has three on it your child will hatch the egg when they get 20 positive uh, feedback comments now that's in science other teachers might have different amounts but you can see what three uh, comments your teacher left for your child. And some of them even have um, more detail, like got off to a great start. So this is a great way for you to keep tabs on how your child is behaving. And, and maybe at the end of the week, you can say, hey, look at all these great feedback comments you got from your teachers. And you can have a celebration when you acknowledge how well your child is doing in school. Now to add other classes, Tap on the three lines again, and look at the bottom middle. There's a plus class group. If you go there, you tap on the top join, enter that teacher's code, go to next, and then you'll have listed here all your child's classes, and you can have all your children with all their classes in one app. It's fantastic. One other feature, if you go to the calendar feature and your child has entered uh, the school calendar, you can keep track of what's coming up at school right from your app. So these are just some great things we can do with Blooms. Uh, we look forward to every parent joining all their children's Bloom classes so you can know exactly what's going on every week as it happens. Thank you.